welcome to our youtube channel so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up an email account in sql server to set up your database mails so here we are to use uh, our gmail account and the gmail smtp server to send an email through the sql server so guys please stay tuned with this video so uh, let's connect our sql server database engine okay and here you can see there is a man management section okay just expand it and here i have already configured an email account uh, but for this demo we are going to create a new one okay uh, here you can see the database mail icon right click on this and click on configure database mail okay so here you can see uh, we a pop up for database mail configuration wizard is open click on the next button and here you can see there is a setup database mail by performing the following task and if you want to manage any existing uh, email account then you can choose this option and if you want to manage profile security you can uh, choose this view or change the system parameter you can change this but in this video we are going to create a new one so i uh, we will choose set up database mails by performing the following task click on the next button so first of all you have to create a profile name so we are going to uh, create a profile name is sql server sql database email this is the name of our profile and here it is asking for some SMTP accounts so you can add, click on add button and uh, account name is support if you want to create a new account name you can create it so let's create a new name account name db support okay and then uh, email address so here uh, my account name is asp.mukesh satragyara at the rate gmail.com display name database support and reply email address I am just going to copy and paste this and here the server name is mtp.gmail.com and uh, this is a port number so you can use this uh, this server require a secure connection so if you want to check this box then you can do that and here there are three uh, authentication for smtp like uh, one each window authentication another one basic authentication and third one is no no yes authentication so we are going to basic authentication yeah so i'm just going to use this uh, email id here uh, uh, previously it was using your actual uh, password which uh, you are going to use to log in your gmail account but uh, now they they have changed this mechanism so to get the password from the google you have to uh, get it from your uh, gmail settings so let's move to our gmail settings google account okay and here you can go to the security tab okay in security tab you have to pass app and here you can get the app password click on this first of all i have to pass my password 
okay now uh, for this demo I am going to create a new one that is mm, SQL demo okay and click on the create button so it will show you this password okay you uh, and please keep in mind it will display only once in front of you so you have to copy this and save somewhere to uh, reuse it after that there is no option that you can uh, uh, get this password in this way let's so move back to our uh, SQL server environment here and I'm going to paste here and paste here okay and then click on the uh, ok button now uh, here you can see uh, the priority one account name and email address okay and then click on the next button so here you can see the public profiles and pro private profiles uh, so we have created a SQL database email so we are going to use it and uh, now our latest SQL database email is our default profile yes okay now here you can see uh, we have chosen yes and click on the next now these are some additional configuration system parameters like account retry attempts by default it is 5 and uh, relay uh, retire delay is 60 second and maximum file size is uh, in bytes that is around million uh, bytes then uh, if you don't want to send any specific file you can you can list here and database email execu executable minimum lifetime is 600 that is 6 minute and logging level is extended and click on the next and click on the finish okay now it is going to create this uh, db support a profile so here everything go it seems good to me so let's do a testing click on the right click send a test email so here you can see the profile database mail profile so we have created sql database email and uh, we are going to send this data engineer 2618 at the rate gmail.com and uh, we are going to pass this message over here okay have fun okay and click on test uh, send test email okay to my gmail account for that particular uh, account so i am going to here and then here you can see yeah so we are able to get this email from this uh, database support profile okay so you can see it is very easy to uh, set up an uh, database mail in sql server so here we are going to we have used my gmail account uh, to set up like, it and it is and working fine and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel